Hello everyone, I hope you're ready for some malware analysis. Today we take a look at Nanocore Rat using any run interactive malware sandbox. So let's dive in. The virtual machine launches instantly, and in a couple of seconds, we already see two processes created in the tree. Click on the parent process, and here we notice two indicators. Danger tells us about dangerous and destructive content or events. And the second indicator is warning. It advises us to notice the unusual behavior of the process. If we check the danger indicator in the parent process, we can notice creation of the library executable file in the user's temporary directory, adding to auto run by placing a parameter to the run registry key. Executable files, including those added to auto run, were created immediately after starting the process in the user's directory. Warning indicator's content includes unusual actions, such as restarting itself, creating files in the user directory, reading the system's name, sending requests for supported language settings. Now, let's move on to the child process. By this time, it's already got a nanocore tag, and, like the parent process, it has two indicators. The interesting thing is that the danger indicator shows us that a sample tries to connect to a remote server. Perhaps it needs to get the instructions, download missing files, or send stolen data to crooks. Do you need more details? Click on the More Info button. The first tab, Modified Files, displays which of the files have been modified in the system. There are run.dat, catalog.dat, etc. On the Connections tab, we get data about Nanocore's C2 server, its IP address, and the country where it's located. In our case, it's France. The Network Threads tab shows the detected threats by the Suricata traffic filtering system. Note that the first network request was made right after 529 milliseconds, after the child process had started to run. And also, we see Nanocore sending a lot of Keep Alive packets to communicate with the remote server. If you want to know about the modules that have been loaded into the address space of the running process, turn to the Modules tab. Any Run's interface allows real-time monitoring of all connections created by the malware. Let's go to the Connections tab. Here, the Nanocore malicious process is connecting to an untrusted IP address. The IP reputation is displayed in the corresponding string. By the way, you can register on Any Run service for free and repeat all these actions and do your own malware analysis easily. Now it's time to check the DNS Requests tab on the main screen. There we can see all the DNS requests created by Nanocore. In our case, the malware appeals to an untrusted server boyhome5100.docdns.org. The Threads tab duplicates information from Suricata rules, and we can see more detailed information like Keep Alive packages by clicking on the corresponding line. Nanocore, as other malware, creates and modifies various files on the system. Take a look at its manipulations and changes in the Files tab. And here, ngekip.exe file has been added to the auto run. Go to the Static Discovering window to view the content and detailed information about the created files. For example, the expected file type is ensys and its hash sums and sizes are here. In addition to that, Investigate the header of the malware executable file, the list of called functions and resources, and, if necessary, there is a possibility to overview the file directly. The overall result of all Nanocore's IOCs collected during the task is available by clicking on the IOC button in the upper right corner. For instance, we can see created files and established connections. To learn more about Nanocore, Follow the links in the description. There you can read an article about Nanocore malware and analyze this very task on your own. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any videos about malware research. Also, 
register on any run service, and do your malware analysis for free. Thank you for watching.